lung has a double source of blood supply, if you like. The bronchial arteries, which accompany the main bronchus and its many branches. So the bronchial artery is essentially distributed to the bronchial tree. The other artery that enters the lung is the pulmonary artery, carrying deoxygenated blood from the right side of the heart. And the pulmonary artery divides repeatedly within the lung, along with the bronchial tree. Now let's just consider the ramifications or the bifurcation of the bronchial tree. The main bronchus enters the lung, divides into lobar bronchi, one for each lobe. And within the lobe, each lobar bronchus breaks up into segmental bronchi. And the segmental bronchi continue to divide till you reach a generation of bronchi called terminal bronchioles. And the terminal bronchioles also divide to give rise to respiratory bronchioles, which are smaller still. And each respiratory bronchiole gives rise to a further generation of ducts called alveolar ducts. And it's these alveolar ducts that are surrounded by clusters of thin walled sacs. Each thin walled sac is called an alveolus. So a number of alveoli, a cluster of alveoli, if you like, surround each alveolar duct. And it is in the walls of these alveoli that gaseous exchange takes place. The alveolar wall has two types of cells lining it, and they are both very thin cells. These cells are called type 1 and type 2 cells. The type 1 cells are really flat, and it's through these cells that gaseous exchange takes place. So on one side you have air in the alveolus, and this flattened type 1 cell, and on the other side a thin capillary. And the capillary is so small as to accommodate just one or two red cells. And the oxygen in the alveolus, the recently inspired oxygen in the alveolus, goes through the type 1 cell into the red blood cell within the thin capillary that is on the other side of the type 1 cell. Now what about the type 2 cell? The type 2 cell is quite an interesting cell. There's perhaps about one type 2 cell for every 100 type 1 cells, but it performs a very, very important function. It elaborates and secretes surfactant. And this surfactant performs the rather important function of reducing surface tension and keeping the alveoli inflated. In the absence of the surfactant, all the alveoli would collapse, preventing gaseous exchange. So the oxygen that is inspired in the air is exchanged for the carbon dioxide in the blood that has been delivered by the pulmonary artery. And this oxygenated blood now finds its way into the pulmonary venous system, eventually to emerge at the pulmonary hilum as two pulmonary veins, which will eventually reach the left atrium and from the left atrium enter the left ventricle to be distributed to the rest of the body. So that is the pulmonary circulation. So in summary, the lungs are highly specialized organs and specialized to perform gaseous exchange between the deoxygenated blood delivered to it by the pulmonary artery and the inspired oxygen from the atmospheric air.